What's up, Ruth crew? Welcome back to my new channel. It's ready to Ruth, y'all. Today we finna be what? We finna be what? We finna be figuring out who is still together. Hello? Hello, Tim? Yeah, we back in business, son. Yeah, we back to the... Hold on, Tim. Hold on, Tim. Yeah, Tim, we back in business, and we finna be right back on that Love Island crap. Your sir, we back in business. Okay, okay, okay. Boop, boop, bop, bop. Hang up now. See ya. Y'all, we are back in Venice. Which Love Island couples are still together? That's what y'all want to know. Y'all probably already looked it up yourselves, but, like, I just love, love Love Island. And I'm going to keep on doing updates till gosh darn, the UK season airs in the summer. Till the freaking U.S. airs in the summer. So, bro, when all three seasons of Love Island start airing in the summer, they do start at different times. UK starting first, America starting last, and Australia starting in the, in the middle. I'm going to be updating videos back to Back. But yeah, we're gonna talk about freaking um we're gonna talk about who's together. So I saw this little post by Marab Morali saying did Justine and Kayla break up? Oh my god, I need to write tainers. I think they're uneven. Okay. About who if Justine and Kayla are like not together anymore because they haven't been posting up many pictures on Instagram. Which is why, which is why, cause no cap, that thought ran through my mind. I was like, are they still together? And then I realized, scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, she did actually make a post in November. It was like late November, like I think it was like November eighth or something. I don't remember. But either way, I was like, okay, these they're still together. And then he made a post. He, um, I think Justine addressed some of her fans. She said that they are just really private with their relationship and they don't like to post a lot. Yada yada yada. They're still together. And I was like, okay, kudos to y'all. Kudos to y'all. I don't know what it is, but like the people who win Love Island never actually make it to the like not ever make it to the end. I'm saying they end up not being together after the show as long. Love Island lost earlier. I was called. Um, bro, what was that? Tyler and Grant. They were like, it was Tyler and Grant versus the other blonde couple. And throughout the whole season, the blonde versus the brunettes. Brunettes ended up winning that season. I loved it. Um, but they ended up not being together because Grant actually had a whole girlfriend outside of the villa and they actually had a uh, challenge where they said grant has a girlfriend outside of the villa and he kept on denying it inside the villa and they still ended up winning and then the other uh, the blonde couple they ended up breaking up as well so i mean i guess it doesn't matter but i'm just saying like the main couple never really makes it far outside so i really do hope justine and um kayla make it up make it far Sally and johnny they still going mad strong you know Sally and johnny i'm gonna keep it a buck y'all prove me wrong you know, so I didn't think y'all were not gonna last in the in, outside. Cause I, bro, I love you so much. In this video, I need to stop because Sully. I I think I kind of already knew that Sully wasn't gonna give up on Johnny because one, Johnny like after everything, even after everyone said everything about Johnny in the villa, like and more stuff came out, Sully still stuck by Johnny. She was like, nope. Oh my God, y'all see that pimple? Oh. She still stuck by Johnny. She was like, nope, I like him. We're going to work through this. We have so much we built through, built up. I can't start over. And they're doing beautiful. Like, kudos to y'all. I saw their TikToks. So freaking cute. And their pictures. Like, they're just living their life. Honestly, they're still working on their long distance stuff. But they are still together. So we have Justine and Caleb still together. Now, Carrington and Laurel, I just had a feeling that they weren't going to last. It was because Carrington was so wishy-washy. And even when they were in the villa, Carrington still repeatedly said, I don't know. I, I'm not saying whenever we get out of here, we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. I still want to get to know y'all. Like, how much get to knowing do you need to get? You're with each other day in and day out. Y'all sleep together. Not sleep, sleep together. But y'all sleep next to each other every day. You wake up to her. You go to sleep with her. Like, what is the problem? Like, why can't you commit? Don't tell me you're a Sagittarius. A ja Ooh, I can't say it right. A Sagittarius? That's what I am. And you have commitment issues. Like, come on now. And then, like, they haven't even posted anything about each other since they left the villa. And I'm like, when was that? For freaking... Yes, y'all, I'm trying to stop cursing. Um, When was that? Like... October when Love Island USA was done like come on now I already knew they weren't gonna make it now we got um and they like both of them barely have any posts I posted like the everyone's like stuff um then you have Calvin and Moira who are still not 
like they the same thing as Laurel and Carrington barely posted each other. I was like, blasphemy, absolute blasphemy. I was like, y'all really like I just knew it. Y'all weren't gonna last. Like y'all seem like I had a great connection in the villa, but like when you're not forced to see the same person every day, when you're not forced to sleep with them, when you're not forced to do the same routine every night, you get that little bit of freedom and you realize that maybe you just that person isn't just for you maybe you just need to go your way and you're just enjoying living your just regular life or whatever and i think that's what happened with moira and calvin like she, she you know what like a lot of moira kind of gave up on herself later later on in the villa like she was started out so strong and you know later on in the villa i think she as the villa as she got as her time went on in the villa i think she just kind of like gave up on finding her love connection um but i mean i still hope she finds a better connection yada 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 um but they're definitely over karen Ken and laurel over um lakin and bro what was that dude bennett they're i'm pretty sure they're freaking over like i didn't really look too much into that couple honestly because i really just didn't care but um if you re- if y'all if y'all care i'll post a picture of them see, so y'all can see like um whether or not they're together or not but I'm pretty sure they're not. They're still on the getting to know each other stage or just friends. Um, everyone else who left the show prior to Justine and Kayla, like prior to like the prior to the big things, like prior to Casa Moore, I'm pre- none of those people were in a couple anyways. No one, like, serious left before that. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter whether they're in a couple or not. Like, Trey, Rachel, um, Trey. I'm not her playing Body Yaddy Yaddy by Megan Stallion. Um, Trey, Rachel, the other girl who was kissing Johnny. I forgot her name. Bro, Toyota. That's her. I called her that so many times. Like, that's just what her name is now. Sorry, Mercedes. Now, uh, see, look, got it. Mercedes, they're all still single. Early guys who got out, they're still single, you know what I'm saying? But that's all I got to say. Um, please w- comment down below what other shows y'all want me to watch and to review. Like, I'm freaking down. Like, right now I'm reviewing the challenge because I've been watching the challenge since I was a little kid back in the date days. Look at my face. I'm breaking out like a B-I-T-C-H. But anyway, I'll see y'all. I know my looks are actually too. Y'all finna be like, girl, you, you fine, you good. But anyways, I'll see you on my next YouTube video. Please like, comment, subscribe, leave comment, like leave comments on what you want me to react next to. Really appreciate that. Thanks for getting me to 500 subs, y'all. I'm not even gonna cap it. Y'all made that happen. Y'all made that happen. I'm almost monetized. Um, I'll see you on my next YouTube video. Bye.